our destination today is Madagascar. One thing to note about Madagascar is that while once you get here it's quite affordable as far as hotels, getting around, activities and food, but the plane ticket here can be super expensive depending on where you're flying from because it is in the middle of the Indian Ocean and yeah, it, it, it's just, it's, it's, it's quite expensive, the plane tickets. I know from my home, it costs over $1,000 round trip sitting in economy for one person. So that can be a downfall about visiting these islands. But if you can get over the sticker shock of the plane ticket, it is definitely worth the visit. So our first stop will be Noze B. And you can fly directly into Noze B because it does have an international airport. And this island is absolutely beautiful. A few things to do on this island includes actually island hopping. <laughs> there are tons of different islands around Noze B that, um, that are worth visiting. Our first island is this island here. It is a 75 minute speedboat ride from Noze B Main Beach and you can sign up for a tour at any hotel or tour company that you choose and it's actually two separate islands that become one island in the low tide because in the low tide there's a dreamy white sandbar just surrounded by water on both sides you can walk on the sandbar, you can swim, sunbathe, whatever you want to do while it still exists. And of course, it unfortunately disappears when high tide comes, but when low tide comes back, it will be back and it is definitely, definitely worth the visit. Our next island that we're going to be visiting, well, visiting from Noze B, like visiting as in we're doing a day trip here, is this island here. It's a big island and it's not too far from Noze B, maybe only about a 20 minute boat ride from the main beach. And the beaches on this island are not that spectacular in comparison to the other islands, but that is not why you come here. You come here for the animals, specifically the lemurs, turtles, and chameleons. You can actually have lemurs jump all over you and climb all over you, and you can feed them tiny bananas from your hand, just depending on how close you want them to get. But if you're a fan of lemurs, this is the island to be at. Our next day trip from Noze B is this island here. And it's only a 15 minute boat ride from Noze B. So yeah, it's super simple to, to get to, super quick and beautiful. Now that we're back on the actual island of Noze B, we're going to look at a couple of hotels. Our first hotel is this beach resort. It sits on 15 acres and offers two white sand beaches. It's also the most popular resort or hotel in Noze B. It's all inclusive and it offers excursions to all the islands that I just mentioned. It has 204 rooms. I couldn't verify the nightly price. Um, I'm not sure if they aren't taking reservations at the moment, but I can verify the price for you. This 
resort here. It is a adult only resort. So if you're traveling with your family, you cannot stay here. Well, maybe you can, but your kids can't. <laughs> it offers beach volleyball, scuba diving, archery, yoga, canoeing. They also have a main restaurant, a bar, and a beach bar and restaurant. And they offer Wi-Fi in the common areas. Just like the previous hotel, I'm not sure if they aren't taking reservations at the moment, so I couldn't verify the price for this hotel either. So our next destination in Madagascar is this city here. It's a coastal city on the west side of Madagascar. It's connected to the capital by regular flights ran by Air Madagascar. But uh, something that I do want to mention about Air Madagascar is that the ratings are not that good because they frequently cancel flights frequently delay flights with no explanation at all and if you're in a rush to get somewhere or if you have a connecting flight then it can be a bit unreliable some people feel like hey i'd rather just take the 12 hour drive around the island instead of using air madagascar so read the reviews on the airline and decide if that's something that you want to do now back to this town the first activity to do is the Avenue of Babos. Bab Babos. I know I mispronounced it. <laughs> I say that every episode. I did mispronounce it. It is a 40 minute drive from the city and you can take a taxi to get here. The trees here unfortunately are threatened by deforestation. Therefore, this area was declared a national monument. So it is free to visit you can also visit during sunset and sunrise the next thing to do in this town well not necessarily in this town because it's a six to eight hour drive on a dirt rough road to each way to get here so it's not it's not in this town but it's the closest town to this national park is here and depending on the time of year and the weather it can be difficult or sometimes impossible to get to so it's best to get a good driver with experience and make sure the driver is driving a 4x4 it is a UNESCO natural world heritage site and most tourists say that you need at least two days to spend here. The standout here is the park's towering gray limestones, which can get up to 328 feet tall. There is a $8 entry fee for one day and a $12 entry fee for two days. The park facilities does include three campgrounds, a restroom, and a restaurant, so... You won't go hungry while you're here at least, but it is difficult to get here. Now, a hotel that I have to mention is this hotel here. It's not in um, Moldova. It's not in Nose B either. It's, it's on another island. It's a small luxury barefoot resort that has 25 private beach bungalows. It's all inclusive. It has a restaurant and bar on site. They offer a spa, sport fishing, deep sea fishing, scuba diving, and custom requests. You get here by taking a boat from Nose B and it costs 700 euros per night to stay here. I mentioned this hotel because the pictures and videos here are just gorgeous and also it has great reviews from past guests. It's a little bit expensive for me to be able to afford to be able to afford but it's definitely a dreamless item.
Well, that concludes our trip to Madagascar, hopefully. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.